So Nick, you've just showed us how to do um, how to put a, a rope uh, back into coils, and, and you mentioned that you'd hang it up using a clove hitch. Can you just explain what you would use a clove hitch for, and then maybe show us how you can tie a clove hitch? Yeah, I mean, clove hitch has been around for a long, long time. Uh, the beauty of them is, is it's very, it's a very quick knot to do uh, and to use, and predominantly you would use it for tying up a fender. Uh, and I'll show you how quick it is. So imagine if this is a guardrail on a boat. So I've got that would be just the, the actual rail itself. Pass the clove hitch or the rope over its over the top, so it's just hanging there like so. All you need to do is just cross it over the other one, put the rope back down through. And all I need to do is poke that up through there, like so, and then just pull it, and then the clove hitch is there. Now, the beauty of the clove hitch is it's very, very quick to adjust. So if I want to raise the, the fender, all I do is I push up and lift at the same time. That allows me to raise the fender, whereas if I want to lower it, I do the opposite. I push that one down and just make sure that I've got the slack to do it. Finish off and tighten it there. What a lot of people tend to do though, is if they're leaving the fenders for a long time, is they may just put a couple of clove hitches, a clove hitches, sorry, a couple of half turns just to lock it off so it doesn't get knocked off by friction or whatever. Great stuff.